Hi there, my name is Darren Strong. Um, I'm doing this video to give you guys out there a little bit of advice on um, training, bodybuilding nutrition, bodybuilding supplements. A lot of people out there at the minute are offering a lot of advice, but I think they sometimes go a bit too deep to forget the basics. All I'm going to do is take you um, through an idea of what I do on a daily basis with regards to nutrition and also with regards to supplements. Um, I'll start by introducing myself. My name, as I've already said, is Darren Strong. I'm 24. I'm married. Uh, I've got a little girl. I'm a sales executive, so I've got quite a busy lifestyle. You know, I get up in the morning and I go and do my interval training. I come in, my daughter will probably get up around about 7.30. I'll see her, see my wife, go to work, eat through the day, which is great. Um, train at night come in, prepare my nutrition for the next day, go to bed, that's pretty much my day in, inside now six days a week. Um, what I'm going to do now is take you through a bit about nutrition. Just remember, what works for me doesn't necessarily work for you. I didn't do a lot about nutrition, um, I was training really really hard but wasn't getting many gains. I wasn't losing much weight, I wasn't getting bigger, I tend to be full of water, probably because I was using creatine in the wrong ways again. Supplements, very important, but you've got to know how to use them right and when to use them. I've um, got a good friend called Gary Adamson. He taught us a lot about what I know with regards to nutrition. Um, the problem is there's so many people, you know, everyone knows someone who's big, everyone knows someone who's lean. The problem is you get advice from both these people, but they're both trying to do a different thing. Just remember, set a goal and train for that goal. Don't keep changing all the time because you might grow, then you might lose weight, you might grow, you might lose weight and the effect is you won't really change a lot. Um, this is my nutrition for the day. At the minute, I'm currently 15 stone 2. Uh, I'm carrying quite a lot of muscle, not as much as I like, but who is happy with how much muscle I've got. I'm trying to cut, I've only been eating like this for the last 2 or 3 weeks. I've probably just lost a good stone, stone and a half. Um, of fat but my muscle gain is quite good as well. Admittedly from what I'm eating now I'm not going to gain the most muscle although the gains will be very good. Uh, this is more for me to lose weight and try and lean up a bit as I'm carrying about 11% body fat at the minute there or thereabouts. So I'll take this over and show you my daily nutrition. Right. This here is me from morning to night, basically. I've got me oats now. Admittedly, I am a bit sad, as you can see my scales there. I do weigh all my food. I do calculate all my protein, um, all my carbohydrates. Only reason being is, in myself, mentally, I feel better when I do this, because I know, know exactly what I'm putting inside of us. You don't have to do this. Just remember, a little bit of what you like ain't going to hurt you, as long as it's a little bit and you don't overindulge. Now... My oats in the morning, I normally have 70-80 grams of oats with some sweetener. For my next meal, um, I'll have a third of my green veg with 200 grams of chicken. For my next meal, I'll have um, probably about 50 grams, I've got about 100 grams of brown rice here. I'll have about 50 grams of brown rice and 240 grams of steak. For my next meal, I'll have my second third of my green veg with 200 grams of chicken. Then for me meal before I train, I'll have my other third of me veg, me other 50 grams of rice and me other 200 grams of chicken. What this does is I get up in the morning, I get me oats which is a good for muscle recovery. I also have a protein shake in the morning but I'll take you onto supplements in a second. Now my next meal, <clears throat> I let my carbohydrates digest um, for about um, 6 hours because I try to eat every 3 hours. So my next meal doesn't really contain any carbohydrates apart from the three or whatever it is that you get in your veg then I have my carbohydrates again then I have another meal without carbs then I have a meal with carbs <clears throat> two hours after that I'll train so that's basically my nutrition for the day as in whole meals I'll also supplement with a shake sometimes because I do have quite a busy job so if I can't manage to um, eat a proper meal rather than having nothing I'll grab a shake supplements <coughs> excuse me I do use um, supplements, I've used quite a lot of supplements. This at the minute is working the best for me. In the morning I'll get up and I'll have two scoops of my Sai MX Lean Grow MRF, about 50 grams of carbs, 50 grams of protein per two scoops. 
Um, I generally have this after I train. It's a really good meal replacement through the day if you struggle to get some proper meals in like I do. But it's also a really, really good post-workout because it's got all your um, aminos, all your branch chain amino acids. Um, it's got your glutamine in. It doesn't hold creatine. Personally, I'm not very good at creatine. I do hold a lot of water. Everyone's different. I do hold water retention with creatine. I've also never um, used a pre-workout before. I've always been quite good and because I eat so well through the day, I've never needed to. Um, but I've been advised, and I'm trying, um, reflex performance matrix. Now, a lot of people don't believe in pre-workouts because they take it, they expect to have a bit of a buzz off it, and when they don't get that, they think it's not working. Don't forget, a lot of pre-workout stuff happens behind the scenes. It is work, and it will always work. People wouldn't sell it if it didn't work. Admittedly, there are brands out there that probably don't work as well. Um, personally, the Reflex is one of the better ones I've ever tried. I have tried in the past. There's me eggs. I have tried this Anabolic Nitro. Now, it's really, really good. Really, really, really good. Um, it's made by USN personally. When I had one of those, I felt like I was having a hypoglycemic fit. So I had to stop taking it because it was a little bit too strong for me. Um, that is pretty much me day in, day out. Um, you've got my nutrition, which you've just seen. You've got my supplements, which you've just seen. As an overview, I eat well through the day. I use my, my supplements um, before training and after training, i.e., in the morning and then. Um, post workout. What I do at the minute is four mornings a week I split it Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday I do my high intensity interval training um, on a night I train five days a week. I like to train solo for five days, have a weekend off. What I do, I do individual muscle groups. So at the minute I'm doing chest Monday, um, back Tuesday, legs Wednesday, give the upper body a chance to recover. Then I go on to shoulders Thursday and arms on a Friday. Every six to eight weeks, I'll change it up. I'll try and do a push and pull, push and pull as much as I can. But as you know, it doesn't always work like that. Um, this is working for me. Nutrition's working very well. I'm losing a lot of body fat. I'm putting a lot of good lean muscle on because of my nutrition and also because of my supplements and my training. What works for me doesn't work for you. Please, if you have any questions, um, comment on this video or I'll include my email address. You can also do that. Next couple of weeks, I'll take the video camera down to the gym as long as no one laughs at us um, and I'll video some workouts so if anyone's got any questions on workouts um, I'm more than happy to go down the gym and perform some something of what I do to give you a bit of an idea hope this video is useful guys um, remember enjoy eating, enjoy training if you don't enjoy it, don't do it stay healthy, 